In this short video series, you've heard about the fear of public speaking, specifically five areas. What happens when you've got a shortness of breath or a shaky voice? What if you forget your material? What about your technology going out or those heckling audience members? In this fifth and final video, we'll talk about what do you do when the audience doesn't laugh? The first thing to know is that there are going to be times when the audience doesn't laugh. This is especially true with online presentations. In March of 2020, at least in the United States, when COVID forced us inside, we had to deal with how do you do presentations when you can't always see or hear the people on the other end. And a big part of that's laughter. So we have to get used to that. But even live presentations, there will be times when people absolutely will not laugh when you expect them to. Number one, as you've heard in a previous tip, just accept that it's going to happen. Don't get flustered by it. How do you do that? Number two, you've heard this in other videos too. You've got to practice. When you're practicing by yourself, guess what? Nobody's laughing. Now, I do a lot of rehearsals with my dogs and I love them to death. They never laugh. They might wag their tails. They might walk away from me. But that leads me to the third point, which is know your talk so well that you absolutely know which lines get a laugh every single time. There are stories you tell where you know to you know how long it's going to last, how loud it's going to be. It's just that funny. Early in my speaking career, I would tell stories that typically got laughs, not always, but usually. And when I was presenting those stories at big events or even at high level speech contests and didn't get a laugh, it threw me. It flustered me so badly that the rest of the speech was ruined because I didn't know what to do. What happened? They threw me off my game. It's there that I learned that practice repetition over and over and over is the only way to get through that. Know the story, know the speech so well, and redefine what you expect from the laughter. Now, what do I mean by that? That's the next point here. Know what the difference is between comedy and storytelling. In comedy, when a comedian doesn't consistently get laughs, that is called death of a career. In public speaking and storytelling, when they don't laugh at a funny line, uh, you just made a really good point. That's the essence of it. Early in my career, I didn't get that. I thought if they didn't laugh at my funny lines, then that I shouldn't have told that. That was just a bad story. No, it wasn't. I just made a good point. They didn't happen to laugh. And that leads to the next point, which is never tell jokes in your speeches. I know for probably a hundred years, speakers were taught, open with a joke, tell them a good joke to warm them up. Don't do that. If the joke fails, you've already dug a hole for yourself. Number two, it makes you sound very pedestrian. It sounds like, oh, just every other speaker who's not there to help us provide value, but they're just to make us laugh. If you just want to entertain people, that's fine. But remember, people today are highly distractible and they're busy. They can get their humor on Comedy Central. They can go on YouTube all day long. You want to stand out from the crowd. Don't use jokes. What you do use is humorous stories. Humor is very natural to stories and it will come through if you develop it. Now, the last point to make on this topic is a very simple question. What do you do if they do laugh when you didn't expect it? It's the opposite of the fear that most people have. What do you do? let them laugh. So many times I've seen people and I've worked with speakers, especially in speech contests, which are timed, where they'll tell a funny line, or they'll say a funny line, it will get a huge laugh, but they'll walk right over the laugh. And when you do that, you're sending a subtle message to the audience, hey, don't interrupt me, don't laugh. I know it's funny, but don't laugh. And they won't laugh going forward. So you're much better off to cut material, let them laugh, get that out and have fun. Is it possible that people won't laugh at certain points in your talk when you expect them to? Absolutely. I promise you it will happen. You got to know how to handle it. Be so prepared again that it's not a big deal. You've made a point. You haven't lost an opportunity for a joke. And be ready when they do laugh and you didn't expect it to let them do it. Forgo some of the lines in your talk to let them have a good time. Hopefully these five videos have helped you to understand the five fears of speaking and given you some ideas on how to better manage that. I'll leave you with this regarding the fear of speaking. The great speaker, Patricia Fripp, Hall of Fame speaker, first female president of the National Speakers Association once said, 
People don't want perfection. They want connection. They don't care if you make a few mistakes. They sense authenticity. They know if you're real. And if you're trying to be perfect, you're trying to memorize every word and look perfect up there with your hair and your makeup. And they don't want that. They want real. An occasional mistake is perfectly fine. Go up there, give them the best message you've got in the best way you can that day. And you'll begin to manage fear and it will never hold you back from speaking again. Good luck with your speeches and let me know how these tips helped.